All right, let's freaking do this. Get in queue. Go to scenarios, go to this one, join us party. Boom, 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 motherfucker. All right. Cool hot sauce and stuff like that. So what do you think Your is counting be like? down confuses me. Oh. No. So we Talk. always count down for recordings. Tomato, potato, banana. And also limousines. Limousine. I love limousines. Oh, that hey, looks fancy. Look at that loading screen. That is a pretty fancy loading screen. Do they have one for after we poop all over? <laughs> the water line? What? Okay, first of all, let me clear this up with the viewers. Uh, we have no idea what we're doing. We just kind of came in this completely blind just to see what it's about. So this is a blind perspective. And we have a warlock, a prot warrior, and a rogue. And that's what we're running with. No healer, because apparently we don't need it. So we need... Powder barrels? What? The hell? Powder barrels, yeah. I don't know, but uh. Fuck can I? Poisons. We can mount up, so. Oh yeah, that's a thing. That would probably help. I saw some. Okay. I saw a bunch of uh. Little gear marks. Oh, there's one. But there's a group of alliance guarding. Okay, okay. And they're elite. Oh. Oh, well, that might be a problem. Don't run away from me! Brah. Tank all the things! Apparently something's outstanding. Oh, that's just what humans say. Oh, God. Well, they're all dead. Okay, 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 okay. I see how this is sort of working. This is just like a giant three-man group quest. Hmm. I think you could, like, stealth over to one and... Oh dear, I fall in the water. Are oh, and I'm in combat too now. Did you no, aggro everything is shooting under the boat? Me from up on the boat. Oh. Maybe. Uh, uh, this might be a problem. <laughs> oh, hey, your uh, your wraith guard's down here, hanging out. He He's probably kicking things. all of the ass. Yeah, he just killed three things by himself, just for fun. What in the world? Guys, I'm late for the party. Party don't stop. Party don't stop. Okay, uh, so sneaking over to one to trigger it, maybe. I'm thinking maybe. No, wait, that guy like, has stealth detection. Does he? Yeah, just pull him. The captains are really the ones we have to worry. Mad Morden Morgan Rinsenson. That's a hell of a name. <laughs> or we just... Do it while they're all beating on Calred. Calred doesn't take damage. What is? See if Calred doesn't take damage, we'll all be fine, because nothing bad will happen. Oh, so we're just single-handedly dismantling the Alliance Navy. Yeah, it only takes three boards. Did, did Calred go? Down? <laughs> yeah. I don't know where he went. Oh, I think I'm he went in the way. water. Yeah, it's cool. I saw you. Neat. Okay. There's so... six powder kegs. Where the hell are all these things? If you look at the map, they have the gears where the powder yeah. kegs we need to ignite at. Right, Which cool. means there's one over here. Or both of these over here, actually. These guys are punk. I could probably tank the, the captain. You oh, got here's that your little thing, right? Yeah, I've got Dark Apotheus. Apotheus. Come, uh... Whatever. I'll come help. Where'd you go, Cal? Oh, oh, you're over there. How'd you get over there? <laughs> S 
so much confusion. Okay, I'm coming. I really do think I might be able to stealth on one of these boats by myself next time and actually disable it. With just sapping people and stuff. I just gotta get the ones that don't have the, uh, the mobs that can, like, see stealth stuff. Yeah, I tanked one of the captains. That was pretty badass. Okay, I got it. Feels good. It does feel good. I think I'm gonna go get this ship all by myself. <laughs> we were treating it like a heroic, and then we were like, "Wait a minute!" And then, and then Bragg found out he could, t and shit got real. I still need Calrad to hold my hand. I only have leather. Whoa. Duh, this guy's name's Captain Dashing, and he used his beautiful smile on me. That's amazing. Damn you, Captain Dashing. <laughs> okay, that's the fifth one. Uh, do you have any more on your side? I am getting Captain the Dash last one. That Captain Dashing is dead. I fell in the water. Take a bath. You know they they need to make water not fall in a bowl because my ass will just keep falling in it. You know they do have this one class that's like a warlock, only they wear plate and they can walk on water. That's <laughs> cool. You know warlocks have that ability too because we don't need to be stupid and wear plate. Who wears plate? I forgot plate? about that. No offense, Calrad. I forgot about your horse. No, don't you all come over here. This is my. Sh oh, I already done. Get out of here. I just wanted to watch. I took this shit. I don't care. I took this mother effort by myself. Don't yell at me. Oh my god. I'll yell at you. You don't have wings. Oh look, a chat bubble. I see That's it. Cool. That was a pretty nifty little chat bubble. We've rigged the powder barrels and stuff. <laughs> and now all the ships are on fire. Oh crap, here you go. Troops to the hut. Play stuff for me. Ha! Huh. Bring them all up! My grandmother hits harder than these little bastards. Oh, if they come to us, then the guards behind us will. That's good. Psh, like we I don't know that. if they're time released or what. Okay, we can just... I have an army of imps helping us, Cal. I think there's a shit ton of imps. The healer. I'm a sheep! Avoid or destroy his storm totems. So is this like a boss thing? He is. Nice. It I doesn't like feel that. like it. Okay. Destroy Big Bessa and destroy... Oh, Big Bessa. Can I keep it? I'm guessing Big Bessa is probably a really big tank. I was gonna say, we could probably mount up and just gather all these guys and AoE them down when we get over there. That doesn't make it entertaining. I'm trying to entertain people. Okay. Calred, this is an excuse to kick all of the asses. Or also do whatever the heck you want and just. Ruffle, ruffle, oh my god. Is there anything inside the blacksmith? There's Big Bessa. Man That's tank. a big bitch. I got it. I got oh, it. hi Big Bessa. There's three tanks. Quick. Apparently these things like to explode. 
Oh, oh, I think we're supposed to drag her to these things. Oh, shit. She's angry, Cal. I know, I see that. I think we're supposed to take her to the... to these... well... Now we don't Taking have Taking chunks out of her cow. Yeah, I'll just, um... be distracted. Just run around in circle. I'm making the tank bleed! It's, it's gushing oil. Just say that. Like a gusher. Final stage! Okay, so I guess we have to go into the uh, tower now. Yeah. That dude has a lot of guards up there. You know, you'd think... Hey! We're the only... one of the only Horde uh, Alliance places on Kalimdor. We should have better guards. Or at least more of them. No, I think more is oh, this probably not the problem. I think it's the quality of service. Oh my god, all these imps. Oh, I almost attacked Jaina. Oh shit, Jaina's in there. She's in there with her new boyfriend. Yep. Sucking each other's dicks. Pardon my friend. Do we attack them or do we attack somebody? Um, can I we attack other know. people. We don't attack them. We attack other people. Or... Yeah, they look yeah, like they can poop all over us. Yeah, when they got like a skull over their head, I'm just not... Not feeling it? Oh, we gotta go to the, the barrack. Yeah. Alright, I'm cool with that. I mean, we can try, but uh... I mean, I don't know. I don't think my spell reflects powerful enough for Jaina. <laughs> I think you give yourself too little time, credit. Though. Yeah. Ghost, ghost Jaina ain't that bad. Oh, all the wonderful murder. This is great. We dabble in murder. We is. Downstairs or upstairs? Or about... I'm thinking... Yeah, There's always some horde officer down in the base. Do you remember Thor? Or a thrall? Will you free me or did you thrall, and then who else did they put in the stand? Will Whoa. you free me, or did you have other ideas coming from a male blood elf? Mmm. Mm. Uh, God, I'll, you guys uh, are so. I got I'll this. leave you to this. I was gonna say y'all can can go save upstairs. Yeah. We'll get the key. Y'all have fun back. with that. Just, just I'm gonna sit here smart. and think about vaginas. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Um, here's the bad guys up here. I'm just gonna stealth around. Who stealth? Serious? These are the alliance. It's not like they can do anything. I'm just looking for keys. All I want's a key. Can I pickpocket this guy and get the key off of him? That'd be cool. No. You know, his chains sparkle. There's sparkly chains on him. So he's got bling? Apparently. Guys, I killed a bunch of Alliance up here. You, you didn't kill all of them. I'm kind of soloing this guy. Brag? 
having trouble fitting in this door. He's got his sword and shield. I'm gonna oh, disarm you. I have a key. As do I, munition. As do I. Alright. Come to the party all late and shit because I couldn't get fit through the door. It's awesome. Alright, I unlocked Save the shadows. the alliance. Oh. God, God damn. He did just blow a kiss at us, didn't he? It, it, did did I just see that? The siege was merely a feint, of course. You didn't realize? What a wonderful blood elf! Now I like you. Draws near. Its arcane payload will flatten Theramore Isle, and everyone still standing upon it. There we go. Should you pass through Silvermoon City, come and say hello. Hmm? Al I guess we can say hello to him and Phil. It was like a Cerna. That was interesting. Oh, wait. It's a cutscene! We're gonna come poop on him. We're gonna poop on there. Here it goes, guys. We're gonna join this place. <laughs> We're Terry and stereotypical goblins, eh? <laughs> yeah. Oh dear, that's very massive. <laughs> Oh, and they didn't waste any time, did they? Nope. And that's what a mana bomb does. Oh dear. Woo! That was fun. So what did we win, kids? What did we win? A brand new car. I got fireworks. Yeah. Let me. <laughs> oh, it's I in got... the shape of a horde logo. That's great. In the mail? Where did... No, in in our inventories. I got a horde firework. Where did my mini mana bomb go? I think it's in the mail. Let's see here. Oh, there it is. Yeah. That's an amazing junk. I love it. I absolutely love it. That's great. Okay, cool. Well, thanks for coming along, guys. That was awesome to experience for the first time with you. Scenarios, uh, what is your opinion upon them? It needed to be longer. And, uh, need to have more women next time. Longer and more women. Yes. I need to go take a shower. Both of those things are frequent problems for you, aren't they, Brian? Anyway. Um. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, that's about it. See you guys. More Pandaria stuff coming soonish. Uh, don't go anywhere. I'm, I'm not done with you people yet. Not quite done with you people yet. I do have a mage on this server that I can use to record the Alliance side of the scenario. And so I did, and so here it is. Oh my god. Picks up right where the horde side left off with the whole, Oh my god, we gotta drop the mana bomb. <laughs> See this bunch of goblins going. The giant ball with a focusing iris inside of it. And they're about to get a pickle surprise in the face. Now... I'm going to be a little bit more, let's see, what's the word? Uh, critique? Critical? Yes, that's it. Critical. I'm going to be a little bit more critical about um, 
what this scenario is all about. When I was running it with Cal and Bragg, I was kind of on an emotional high because they're my friends, and when you're with your friends running anything, you can have fun. But once I came in here on my dwarf and I started running in here through this whole thing, I sort of realized all the problems that are currently to do with scenarios. There's a post on the forums that I really don't feel like finding of someone who made a very astute claim that these scenarios are basically just glorified three-man group quests that you have to queue for. Um... I hate to say it, but it is kind of true. We go in, and you can take tank healer, whatever, but it, it does feel sort of like that old experience where you ran around and you did elite quests with a bunch of your friends, or just random people that you found in the questing area. That would be good if uh, it was implemented well with current things to spice up the gameplay, but in its current state, the way this scenario worked, I feel like the potential was there, but it wasn't really used to its fullest extent. Let me explain a little better. Um, sorry about bumping the microphone, too. Basically, what you have to do in the Horde scenario is you land, and you have to fight off some ads, and you have to go click a few things, and that's about it. You fight things, you click things. Fight things, click things. Now, some people would argue, you know, World of Warcraft's been like that for the past, what, 10 years. And you're kind of right, but we've gotten advents of stuff like vehicle combat, we've gotten turret wars, we've gotten all sorts of crazy things, but none of that made it into this scenario. This feels like something that was taken from Classic WoW and then given a really weird user interface and then stuffed inside of an instance. Um, it has the potential to be fun. It really does, and when you're running with your with your friends for the first time through this, and you're seeing everything for the first time, it is fun, and that's pretty cool. But this is something that's designed for to last for about a year, and I can already see how this would get really, really old, really quickly. Unless, of course, you're having the time of your life in a three-person DPS group, in which things get a little bit complicated. You might have seen me already using ice blocks and stuff like that on these pulls with these two other characters we got in this party, these two people. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my goodness, goodness, goodness. I I think I blocked out their names successfully, because I'm going to have to be talking about them. When you're running these scenarios with two other DPS, you kind of have to watch each other's backs a little bit more. You have to use stuns. If you're a death knight, you need to use your... Chains of Frost to keep stuff away from your ranged that are, like, getting tacked on. You might, if even if you're DPS, you might have to go into Blood Presence and taunt stuff off your buddies just so they're not getting murdered and just stuff like that. There's a lot of awareness things when you're running with a three-man group from these scenarios. It is very doable, but you just have to watch yourself. Like, when we ran with Calrad in the Horde version of this... It was easy peasy lemon squeezy, but I'll have to show you later, and I had to end up doing a clock wipe because this phase two part ended up lasting entirely too long. Um, we ran into a few packs where I was like, please get this off me invisible tank that does not exist. <laughs> because it was like elite mobs that just beat on you and beat on you and beat on you and there's not much you can do. Admittedly, I really don't know how to play this arcane mage. I kind of just ran in here and just started going la 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 because I wanted to see the alliance version of this without reading all the frost mage changes. So if I'm doing stuff that's dumb, that frost, or not even, I'm not even a frost mage, I'm an arcane mage. Case in point, I don't even know what freaking spec I was for this. <laughs> like, seriously. But... That's that's my thoughts on the scenario so far. I, I just wanted to clarify that first of all. I was gushing when I was running with Bragg and Cal because it was Bragg and Cal. They're like two best bodies from Kondo that I have 
of the 12 super amazing friends I've got in that guild. And when you run anything with your friends, you'll have great banging time. Now, let me be a little bit more in detail about just the Alliance version of this scenario. There's a lot of complaining going on about if you come into the Alliance version of this straight off the bat without seeing the Horde version or reading the book, you're kind of like, okay, what happened here? It really isn't explained too well. Like, you see a bunch of goblins come in and drop a bomb on Theramore, but you're like, okay, where did this bomb come from? A. B. Why is the Horde choosing to do this now? C. Oh, right, this part. <laughs> this, yeah, clock wipe to this part, because this is, this is the example of exactly why you need help from your teammates. This guy would not get off of me. He was he was determined to murder the fire out of me. I was just having to like, Oh my god, run away! Run away! Don't kill me! And I'll end up having to do that a lot later. That's pretty much the only part I ended up cutting out. Anyway, what was I talking about? Alright, bomb. And then you're thrown in and you're like, Okay, basically the horde attacked and you have to kill all of them. And there's no backstory at all. Like, it's not explained. Like, you don't know why the Horde's attacking now. You don't know why Garrosh Hellscream suddenly decided to go for Theramore. I mean, like, he's been push pushing the entire continent this whole time. But it just seems like a random thing to do out of the middle of nowhere. And it's just, like, a lot of why. Why is this happening now? What significant thing triggered this event? Just, it's not really explained that well. And that really miffed a lot of people. The lore aspect of these scenarios is very vague and weird. Like, your updates that you get on your quest tracker type thing only do so much to sort of explain things. And, like, the big problem for it is... Uh... When you're going to have a really awesome lore scenario like this, where you've got the Horde and the Alliance, oh my goodness lord, it's the big breaking point where war erupts between the two factions, and Blizzard's been leading up to this for the past god knows how long, and it finally happens, and then you don't really get the gist of what's going on, you don't really know, you know what I mean? It, 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 it's bad. You don't want people to have that feeling about, about stuff. But anyway, back to the actual gameplay, what's going on in front of you. A lot of running away from this dog. Now, it, lo and behold, how it chases me and slowly is catching up to me. And for some reason, this Death Knight is not <laughs> helping by taunting it off of me or anything. Ugh. Ugh, oh my goodness, 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 goodness. You have to take care of your friends in this. Oh, by the way, this is also the first scenario or instance, I just made two puns on accident, where you actually need to bring food with you. Because if you don't have a healer for this, which will happen about 25% of the time, I guess, you kind of have to rely on your own heals, and your own heals are pretty much food and band-aids. So suddenly you have a reason to level your first aid skill again if you haven't done so before. If you're planning on running a lot of these scenarios, you should always have to worry about bringing a stack of food with you and having a bunch of band-aids. I think this is the part where I end up killing both of them. I don't remember that. I somehow managed to not die this entire time. But both of those poor other people ended up biting it about six times and having to run back. It was hilarious. I mean, I felt like uh, <laughs> a double agent, sort of, have, especially having um, been the contributing factor to blowing up Theramore. That was another issue I had. You know, I felt like I was going to go in this and I was going to blow up Theramore myself. It's like we just went in and we rescued a spy, and then all of a sudden this bomb comes out of the sky, and it's just like, why did this happen? And I know Mr. Dude explains it at the end of your quest chain when he, like, blows you a kiss and stuff, and says, hanky panky thanks. But it's... There's too many things in this that are just unexplained. 
and you're left going, okay, read the book. Well, that's kind of the problem. And this isn't the first game to have this problem. Old Republic kind of had this problem, too, where there's so much lore bogging down everything that they can't really fit it in very well, and you're just kind of expected to know ahead of time. So, you just have to read a book, something, or like get the Cliff's Notes and just go, okay, Cliff Notes version... That's what happened, and fantastic. Great. But people just don't want to do that sometimes. And, you know, Blizzard should kind of be thinking about that when they make stuff like this. Anyway. I was secretly hoping this boss would kill that Death Knight. By this point, I was starting to get enraged. I, I really didn't like these people anymore. She died! Ha 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 ha! She died! Ha 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 ha! Glory to the Horde! <laughs> I'm an evil dwarf! <laughs> yeah, that was my attitude about about this point of the instance. <sighs> oh boy, this was a thing. This was definitely a thing. Um, what other things did, was I thinking about when I was running this? Uh, the boss mechanics, that's another thing. The boss mechanics were, like, they designed them to be doable by a three-person group, right? So, in my opinion, if you want to have groups be able to do this successfully, you shouldn't be designing these bosses for, you know, like a tank and a healer combo, which this guy seemed to be... Four. I would do these bosses sort of Shade of Iran style. Like, they just randomly swap threat between things, or they're based on whoever's doing most damage, or stuff like that. But, like, I don't think threat should be an issue. Or maybe it should be an issue, but... I don't know. I feel like there's something they could do with the threat on these things to make them make a little bit more sense. Because... If you really need to pull off of one of your friends as a DPS, you can't really do that. Like, if, if you see one of your DPS start to die on these bosses, and you want to help them, there's nothing to really snap the aggro, and you kind of just have to depend on them to pop a cooldown or something. Like, I was glad to have Ice Block to be able to do that a couple times. But... Ugh. It was, that was pretty much one of my biggest gripes about just fighting the bosses in here. Now we're going to get some lore stuff, so I'll shut up. Everyone, the Horde cannot be allowed to recover the focusing iris. Eliminate what remains of their forces, and I will secure the artifact. Jane is pissed, by the way. <laughs> this is the first you end up seeing um, Jane a post-apocalyptic mess with the mana bomb and whatnot in the big giant crater. Um, according to the book or whatever, she was saved by Ronan at the last second. He like, he pushed her into the portal and was like, Trina, you gotta get out of here! And she managed to get the crazy hairdo and stuff from that somehow. But I really don't know how that worked out. And she and Kallik are apparently making dragon babies or something. This is the kind of thing I'm talking about. Like, I think that was the biggest complaint about this whole scenario. Again, forgive the pun. Was the whole, just, what's going on right now aspect. Like, a lot of us were sort of expecting to be this, to have this thing be a lot like the Battle for the Undercity, where you go in and you basically know exactly what's going on. You got a prelude with a quest, you've got a... No, uh, you've got a few lead-up quests, actually, to the actual scenario. And once you get in, and you're going along, you have a hero basically sort of helping you out the entire time. And that's kind of the feeling I thought I was going to get from scenarios, where I was doing something really big and epic, and I had, like, a beefy friend to help me out with it. 
Like, I thought this scenario would have either, like, Jaina or Grosh holding your hand through it and being all like, yeah, we're gonna be badasses and I'm gonna freaking be awesome for you and stuff. Like, when they said it was for intended for groups of three, the, I thought one of the things they might do for some encounters is provide you with an actual tank, aka Jaina or Grosh, whenever it would happen. And that would just be part of the experience. But it just didn't kind of happen. And <laughs> if you run with three DPS, you just got a willy nilly fin for yourself. And it, it, it's kind of a mess, like I've said. So we've gotten done with playing with Jaina. And now we're up here at the entrance gate, I assume. I think this is the entrance gate. And. You have to get these little banners. And when you pick up a banner, I found this out after I face pulled this next boss, it gives you a 15% damage buff. So, apparently, I didn't know this until after the fact. It's customary for you to let all of your group members have the banners. Otherwise, you will get yelled at by your party members and they will be all upset. Because I totally pulled this boss, and I had someone go, Really? Really? You pulled that boss? Really? Are you kidding me? And I was just like, Oh, what did I do? I thought I was supposed to open up on this thing or something. Yeah. I like this boss, though. It was pretty good. This was, this was one of the better things in the instance. And another thing you might have noticed, I forgot about this, is there's a lot of similarities between the Alliance and the Horde version of this. Understandable, because one side shouldn't really see the other side, and the other side shouldn't really see the other side, and stuff like that. That's kind of the way the Undercity encounter worked as well. Except, for this, it's pretty much a mirror image of all the bosses. Like, the f Flame Leviathan, quote-unquote, thing that I was um, talking about for the Horde side... Um, as you can see here is more of the same, stay out of bad stuff. When he targets you, run away. Sorry about that. Um, stuff like that. And this is one of those bosses where you don't really have to worry about the threat because it moves so slow. And that's cool. This is the kind of boss encounters I like for, to see for scenarios. Where you don't have to worry about getting threat and getting shot to death in 10 seconds. Like, I was really happy. Sort of pleasantly surprised by the last boss in here, but I'll get up on that eventually, and we'll talk about that a little bit later. And actually, I might as well just do a little bit of fast-forwarding to get to that, so you can see it. Because this is just more killing. And eventually, yeah, there we go. Report back to the main crater, blah, 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 blah. After a quick little rest up... We come back down into this little hole, and we have the one last thing we need to do, which involves this guy coming in and being all like, I'm the final boss, and I'm gonna kick your ass. Despicable cowards, orc. You're nothing more than rabid dogs, and you will be put down. Brave words, mage. I'll spit in your face when you beg for mercy. You spit on mercy? Then you will have none. You want carnage? Garrosh will get more blood than he ever bargained for. Yeah, I'll bring the war chief your head. I love that exchange. That was one of my favorite things from this whole scenario. Was um, <laughs> that quick little back and forth between Jaina and that um, orc general? That was priceless. Before this, we've never seen her quite that angry, and she does have reason to be angry. Like. Her best friend just died, and uh, it's not good. So, this part just involves clearing a little bit of trash and getting to the boss. I will, of course, kill both of my teammates, as you will see shortly. Spoilers. And luckily, 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 I managed to burn him down just enough to get to a certain mode to make him kiteable, and I'll show you that a little bit beforehand. But his pattern should look a little bit familiar. First, he equips the sword and shield. And after the sword and shield, guess what he's going to equip? 
Oh, oh, is it coming? Is it coming? Come on. Come on. DPS is faster. Oh, no, there he goes. There he goes. I, that girl is dead now. Run away, little dwarf. Oh, no. There he goes. Dagger. This causes him to do some crazy thing where he, like, just sort of spins in place a little bit. And I managed to time it perfectly, so he'd get up on me and then do that, and I'd run away. And then he'd get up on me and do that, and then I'd run away. And it makes it really easy to kite him. What was hilarious is when those two chuckleheads managed to come back from their, their body run. Uh, <laughs> they ended up getting themselves killed again, because they just kind of stood in it. Maybe it's an alliance thing on our server, I don't get it. I mean, I know Moonguard has a really bad reputation for players. I think it might just be because of Alliance side, because I've never seen anyone on Horde side do something quite this silly. Like, just watch them. Look at them. Just standing in it. Just standing in the whirlwinds like nobody's business. Meanwhile, the dwarf runs away. And every... <laughs> it's just ridiculous. It's, it, it was ridiculous, but it was hilarious at the same time. Oh boy. But with this being just about it, uh, my overall rating for the whole scenario thing so far is it has potential. It does have potential, but this was kind of, I, I don't want to say lazy, but it, it was lackluster. There were some stuff they could have done better, like they could have freaking put in cannons, they could have put in vehicle combat a little bit, they could have just done anything to spice this up testament to Garrosh's brutality the winds of change blow fiercely Azeroth is on the brink of war my apologies but you must excuse me I have much to consider farewell Jane is sad Jane is so sad but that's about it guys thanks for watching stay tuned for more panda stuff or unsubscribe from me if you hate me and you know, all that sort of thing. Because I'm I might start doing a lot of panda videos. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, really I am. It's a nostalgia thing, I swear. Otherwise I'd be playing Guild Wars 2, I'm serious. Super serious. Not just regular serious. Why are you still here? You creepy, creepy people. Rah!